The Home Serve Guide to Hanging a Door Changing your doors can instantly improve the look of your home, and yes, it is a job you can do yourself. It just takes a couple of hours, a lot of patience, and this Home Serve step-by-step -step video. So stop hanging around and get to it. Step 1. Things you will need A tape measure A pencil A hand plane A hammer A set square A very sharp Stanley knife A wood chisel A drill Wooden screw bits A saw Masking tape A couple of coins Wood wedges Or something to hold the door steady while you work For a basic internal door, you'll also need two 100mm hinges and screws For heavier or external doors, get three Step 2. Measure up. Measure the length and width of the frame opening before buying your new door to make sure you get the right size. Allow for a 2mm gap at either side of the door and at the top and 6mm clearance at the bottom or a little more if you've got a really deep carpet. It's unlikely you'll be able to find one exactly the right size so go for one a little bigger. Step 3. Trim the door. Steady the door in your vise with the opening side at the top. Measure and mark the cut lines then measure again to make sure it's correct. The professional's mantra is, measure twice and cut once. It's a hell of a lot easier than the other way around. When you are certain, plane down to the cut line, or if there is more than 6mm to take off, use a saw. Top tip, always plane from the edges in, in broad sweeping movements. This will give you an even surface and stop the corners from splitting. Give the new edge a quick sanding for a smooth finish. Step 4. Hinge positions. Turn the door over to have the hinge side uppermost. Measure 15 cm down from the top and mark, and 23 cm up from the bottom. This is the outer marks for your hinges. If you have a panel door like this one, the top is the end with the shorter panels. Use a set square to draw a firm horizontal line at each of your marks. Open the hinge and hold it in place with the spindle section butting against the edge. Score around the edge of the hinge with your Stanley knife, always cutting away from your supporting hand to avoid any bloody accidents. Draw over the line with your pencil just to make it easier to see for the next step. Do exactly the same for the second hinge. Step 5. Cut the recesses. Use a sharp chisel with the beveled edge facing in to make a series of cuts along the pencil line. Now chisel into the recess, filling up the wood as you go. Hold the chisel at the top of the recess, again with your hands well out of the way, and in one swift movement, shear off the wood. Now use a twisting action to deepen the recess. Regularly try the hinge to check if it fits. When it sits flush to the door, you are ready to do the same on the second hinge. Step 6. Attach the hinges. Position each hinge flap in its recess on the door and, with your pencil, mark the position of the middle screw. Put the hinge to one side. Use a drill bit slightly narrower than your screws to make a pilot hole. Take care to keep the bit, that's the spinny part, square to the door edge. HomeServe's tip is to start slow, then accelerate once you've gotten started. Put the hinge back in place and put the middle screw in. It should go in nice and easy thanks to your pilot holes. Now the hinge is secured, make the two other pilot holes and screw in place. That's one done, so repeat the whole process to attach the second hinge. Step 7. Fit to the frame. To help hold the door in position in the frame, it's worth fixing up a temporary door jam. Measure a door width in from the edge of the door frame. Again, use your set square to draw a line perfectly parallel to the edge. Nail a strip of wood to this guideline, then do the same on the other side. This simply will be used as a support to get the door in position. When the job is done, they can be easily removed. To make sure the door is the right distance from the top of the frame, here's another great home serve tip. Tape a coin at either end of the top of the door. When you jack the door into position, you can guarantee an evenly spaced gap. Hold the door in place and use your trusty Stanley knife to make a small nick on the frame at the position of each hinge. Step 8. Prepare the frame. That's the measuring done, so put the door to one side and remove just one of the hinges as you will need this as a template. Place it open on the door frame at the marked point with the barrel butting against the edge. Score around the hinge with the Stanley knife. Remember the blade should be very sharp so you don't need to press too hard. And keep those fingers out of the way. Repeat for the bottom hinge. Chisel out the recess for the hinges just as you did on the door, first cutting around the line then making a series of cuts into the wood. Removing the furls in one swift movement and finally working into the recess until the hinge sits flush. Mark the position of the middle screw and drill the pilot hole on both the top and bottom hinge. Step 9. Hang the door. Fix the hinge you've just been using as a template back onto the door. Hold the door in an open position either by getting a mate to help you or by using wooden blocks to prop it in place. Fix just one screw per hinge to the frame 
And now the moment of truth. Carefully close the door to check the fit. If you need to trim any of the edges, mark how much needs to be taken off, remove the door and get planing. Then try the fit again. The hinges might also need to be adjusted a tad, watch them as you open and close the door. If it's as smooth as silk, put in the last of the screws. Well done! But if you'd rather take the pain out of the task, then why not get HomeSurf to do it for you? One click and it's done.